did it for me. Yeah. Yeah, it was an oldie. Yeah. Yaxi! Yaxi! Independence for Yorkshire! 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 Can we get a Yorkshire? Well, that was the fantastic Freddie Hayes there, performing with just one of her alter egos, Fred, at London's Café Cairo some months ago. Now, I have wanted to include some stagecraft amongst the hobbycraft items on Making London for some time now. And if you think about it, puppets might just be one of the best places to start. The puppeteer has to come up with the character and concept of the puppet before actually constructing the beast itself and then going on to do the costumes, the props, and maybe even the stage. There's a lot of craft has to happen before the show can go on. So I was absolutely delighted to catch up with Freddie some months ago and ask her how she did it. Here's what she had to say. Hey. And uh, welcome to making London, eh? Hey, thank hey. you very much for welcoming me down there. Where am I? I'm in Weybridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm in Weybridge, and you're usually up in uh, Yorkshire, aren't you, Fred? Ah, oh, yes, I am. Oh, yeah? Do you want yeah. the blonde lady to talk, or me? No, I don't know, really. I, I have to say that, behind every great man is a great woman. Oh. So, uh, shall we just introduce uh, Freddie? Hello. Happy <laughs> <laughs> New Year, friend. Now, you come down, you're usually up in Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you notice much of a difference between the audiences in Yorkshire and the ones from London? Yeah, I think what I've noticed is in Yorkshire, People laugh, but sometimes they don't get the joke. Yeah. But then in London, they get the joke, but they don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But that's a stereotype. But I, I, I mean, people do laugh a bit. But yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you start doing things in London, and then for some reason you found yourself in Yorkshire? Or was it? Um, well, I studied at um, the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama, and okay. then um, I graduated from there. And then I just, um, so I, I went up to Yorkshire sort of to help, to help, help out with him actually, because yeah. he needs to be in his home, hometown. Right. To get, yeah, he needs to. Yeah. Hey. Got me down with something that's too long, yeah. But I'm always, I'm in London right. like, at least well, once a month anyway, for doing shows. You see a character that's actually sort of like in your head at the moment quite a lot. Quite yeah, I'm, I'm thinking as him <laughs> and his wife, making, really? making the wrong decisions, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite confusing. Yeah. <laughs> now the show's usually about how we make things. So yeah. there's two sides of what, what you've done is first of all you well three really, you've created a character. Yeah. Then you've created the physical character. But let's say puppet. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> and then you've created the show. Yes. So this is, can we start at the beginning then maybe with where you came up with the characters? Yeah, so um, it's actually based on a pub, I won't name names, there's a pub in York and there was a landlord and landlady there and they had Siamese cats right. um, and yeah, there was, they're sl slightly similar to Fred and Sharon's, so it's okay. sort of based on the, those two and their relationship and what went on in, in the pub and then... Um, yeah, so that's, and I also base a lot of my characters on going into pubs and sure. finding different eccentric characters yeah. and sort of thinking about them and their lives. And yeah, because uh, Fred and Sharon, they're not actually your only puppets, they're not your no, only No, no, so. yeah, so. So, so yeah. So with, with the others, as well as Fred and his yeah. wife, um, how did you go about making them materially? Are you working with paper mache or with yeah. foam? Or? So with Fred, um, I don't know if you can see. Uh, he he's made out of um, uh, muslin cloth, and okay. then I've put a um, piece of stuffing. Yeah. So and then um, copy decks one side of the uh, muslin cloth, and then turn it into a sausage, right. and then I, I sort of put piece them together to make this wrinkly effect. Right. So that's on top of styrofoam, okay. 
Um, not styrofoam, plaster zoat, sorry. Okay. Which is a special type of flexible foam. Right. So that's sort of pattern cut and then build up all the wrinkles with the sausage. Nice. The sausages. <laughs> and you've got some other puppets yeah. in front of you. It's sort of like a similar thing or a bit different? This is a bit different. So this is Freddy. Okay. Uh, so this is a self-portrait of me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm. this was the sort of first proper puppet I made. Right. And she's made out of, um, I don't know if you can yeah. see better. Yeah. So that's a foam, uh, styrofoam. Yeah. Uh, Fred's having a look as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. Like yeah. No, not Fred. Oh, that one, yeah. Oh, that one, yeah. That one, yeah. There she is. Yeah, so um, she's made out of styrofoam, which has been carved, and then a paper mache over the top. Right. And then, yeah, she's got a stringy hair. Okay. <laughs> It's quite a durable puppet, please. Yes, I, wear and tear yeah, I mean, she's three years old. Okay. Um, but I think one of the best things to test if a puppet's going to work is to just drop it on the floor quite a lot of time. Just right. they have to take a lot of beating because okay. um, just makes sure that they last for well, th at least three years anyway. And she's, sure. she's done a few shows. So, yeah. Uh, and then lastly, you've got to come up with the actual show itself. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so, so it's kind of like it's all got to happen at once in a way because mm. you've got to have the idea of the show, okay? Yeah. The idea of the characters that are going to go yeah. on the show and then the physical characters as well. Yeah. So um, you sometimes come up with the show, kind of like a concept for a show, and then, then yeah. go for what kind of, uh, how am I going to fill this world? Yeah, so this show down here, these glove puppets, they yeah. uh, it's actually based up on my um, based on my love life. So it's sort of an autobiographical right. story. So Freddie, this puppet here, yeah. uh, who you've just seen, um, Freddie uh, is the um, I I I am a Doctor Love. So that's right. my alter ego, and I present the show and narrate right. the show from a different perspective. And then right. I, she narrate. She sort of narrates the story of like my. A therapist, like yeah, a so I, I'm my own therapist in a way. <laughs> yeah, okay. and then. Um, yeah, so it's it's sort of a blur between stand up comedy and puppetry and. Uh, well, that's what I like about yeah. it. I mean, it does blend yeah. so many kind of uh, skills together. Yeah. To actually come up with something new. Yeah. What is going to be new? What are you working on at the moment? So, I'm working mainly with Fred, really. Yeah. Um, so he he's we're wanting to do an R and D to uh, get it. So it's sort of the perfect show that I want from him and right. we're going to hopefully take it around the country okay. and see what happens with him. Mm. We're, do, we're doing making a film as well. So. Fantastic. Yeah, you yeah. Tell, tell me a little bit about yeah. that. Yeah. I'm not going to give away the yeah. plot, but it's yeah. a very good one. Yeah. Um, and you are seeing a lot of uh, the countryside going around and doing these shows. Are you yeah. finding that um, gentrification is uh, you know, happening everywhere? Is, yeah. yeah. Well, I think... Um, I think what, because from the story it's about, well I won't give it away, but it's yeah. um, Fred's sort of a bit of a lost cause and he's a, an old timer, he's a sort yeah. of Sam Smith type of bloke, but okay. he um, he can't really understand why people are not wearing socks anymore and growing their beards out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think he wants it to go back to he's how, an old he's an old fashioned <laughs> guy, he wants yeah. women to be back in the snug, don't you Fred? No, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> So he's actually working on um, a, a Brexit campaign, but it's a Yexit, so Yorkshire Independence. Right, okay. So he wants uh, everything to be back to its traditions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it could drag on for years. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. We don't know where we are at the yeah. moment. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a thinker, I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, you're performing in London again soon, now. What yeah. are you doing there? So tomorrow I'm doing um, Hoorah, which is a cabaret it, um, in Cafe Cairo, which right. is where we met. Yeah. And um, I'm going to be presenting that as Dr. Love. So, oh. that, so that's um, my alter ego. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so, and then I'll just be hosting the show as her. So she's my heart. I don't know if you've seen my heart mask. That I wow. wear. Well, uh, well, that's her costume. So it's more okay. sort of costume puppetry as well, right. as well as these guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.
Hey, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, this is it now. Yeah. I'm a winner. You are. Hey. Well, a really big, warm-hearted thank you to Fred and Freddie there for talking to us. If you can get along and see one of her shows, I suggest you do. They're really funny. I will be out soon making new films, and as soon as they're ready, I shall put them on here for you to see. Until then, enjoy yourselves. Thanks very much for watching.